Hello guys, welcome to the channel. A fan decided to tell JT, City Girls Real Quiet, and the fan told JT this after Cardi B dropped her song with Megan Thee Stallion, and JT responded and said, what is there to talk about? JT then said, I'm known to show love. Y'all fan pages be trying to fake bully stuff. Who the F are y'all? JT then went on and said, I'll pull facts. Don't start with me. Don't. Now I'm going to let y'all do y'all little one, two. But when it gets to three, I'm going to go in. And a fan came and told JT and Megan was supporting you. And JT said, and I'm supportive to her. That's my baby with a smiley face emoji. And that's when Young Miami jumped in and said, B's always down the city girl's throat ab about support, but a B ain't support us when we dropped y'all. Always doing that, but never asking why we ain't getting support. Stop doing all that lame stuff. Another fan came to Young Miami and said, girl, shut up. Cardi even supported y'all when JT was in jail. And Young Miami said, B and I openly supported Cardi plenty of times, but what y'all not finna do is bully a B next. Then Young Miami said, get out my mentions with the stuff cause tonight will be the night. Good night and I don't give a F. I'm tired of y'all making a B look like a hater. Y'all not finna fake bully us today. I'm tired. A fan even put in the comment section that Cardi B did support the city girls while JT was in jail. So this situation is really petty and they don't really have to explain themselves. Hey, if you didn't post a video or react or say how you felt about the song, that's you that's what you want to do but these fans like bullying them to like say something about it say something about it is really weird like these are grown a women like if they want to say something they will say something when they feel like it you don't have to bully them into saying something anyways we're finna move on to little baby and his baby mama aisha but before we move into that make sure you guys like share subscribe and also hit the notification bell that way you guys can stay up to date with my video so let me go ahead and just jump into this so little baby decided to surprise his girlfriend Jada with a Birkin bag while she was asleep <laughs> this is how you do it okay this is how you wake your girl up take notes so I'm guessing Aisha, which is Lil Baby's baby mama, felt some type of way that, you know, he got his girlfriend a Birkin bag. So she decided to come in on its on site because they posted the video of her, well, of Jada getting the Birkin bag. And her baby mama said, damn, but didn't pay Jason's private school tuition. Like, okay, so you can buy your girlfriend these expensive handbags, but you can't pay your son in tuition for school? Lil Baby responded and said, crazy, the stuff people do for attention, even crazier, the stuff people post, but I take great care of both of my kids, and P.S. School don't open till August 19th, and I'm not sending my son to no dang school. I actually pay for him in-house tutors once they figure dates, according to, you know, C, they will start coming out. The question is, have you taught your son anything over the period of time he hasn't been in school? But please excuse my child's mother. She's delusional. So Aisha, the baby mama, responded again and said, At little baby, Jason's school tuition had an outstanding balance before the virus even came about. I have every email. Due to you never paying it, they took my baby off the portals so he won't receive any virtual learning programs from his school because they basically kicked him out. You get on the internet and tell a big A lie, then show a Rolex watch you bought Jason who can't even tell time but you but you ain't keep up with his education stop hiding behind all the materialistic clout stuff and step the f up stop playing with me little boy because today i got time and she actually can call little baby a little boy because she is older than him i think she's like 30 something but anyways let's just finish with the video so she responded again and said, I can show y'all who the delusional one is. I got all receipts. Lil baby, you know I'm not the one to play with. I'm not kissing your behind. And I'm coming sideways about mine. Don't make me expose who you really are. Girl, go ahead and expose who he really is so I can do another video about it, okay? She then said, I tried to be a lady at all times. Hell, even superwoman, but I'm human and I'm tired. You reap what you sow. Then Aisha showed how much they owe, you know, to put their son in school, and they owe $9,000. Now, we know Lil Baby has way more than enough money to pay his son's school tuition. Yes, I see he's steady buying his girlfriend these bags, but at the end of the day, his baby mama could have hit him in 
his DM. She could have messaged him. This is your child's father. So I know you got his number. You could have texted him. You could have called him. When you look at the receipt or whatever the paper email is, the email says May 2nd. We're all the way in August. Sis, why are you just not bringing that up? Like, she probably already brought it up to him, but he ignored it or something. But that's probably why she came to the internet. Anyways, let's just go ahead and move on. Then the baby said, why you never text me once since March about Jason's school? You acting as if I'm neglecting the payment. I told you I'm not panicked because he doesn't need to be at that school. I get the ninja you effing ain't buying you Birkins or whatever, but don't go to the internet and act like I don't go over and beyond for my son. I've gave you so many thousands since March. If if on don't none I take if I don't do none, I take care of my kids and everybody else too. Stop playing, bro. Lil Baby also said, did I send you 2500 this month? Did your sister rent get paid? Do you live in a $300,000 $300, house I paid cash for so you don't have no bills as far as I'm concerned? Didn't I tell you I wasn't paying no school that I don't want him in? basically have you texted me one time about jason's school since march have you texted me every day about a car did jason just call and say he needs clothes because all his clothes at my house and you're not gonna get him any baby little baby trying to expose his baby mama i mean she did come for him like he said you haven't texted me since march about his schooling and like i said i just got this information but it's like if you knew this was the way it was, why didn't you text this man and let him know, oh, your son needs this paid so he can get into school? But at the same time, you can tell that they already discussed it because little baby said, didn't I tell you I wasn't going to pay for something I didn't want him to do? Basically, he don't want him to go to school because of the C that's going around and he wants him to get, you know, homeschooled. And I understand that. This whole situation could have been handled offline. It's really Lil Baby's baby mama fault. She the one that felt some type of way that he buying his other baby mama slash girlfriend Birkin bags. And he's not paying tuition that he said he's not going to pay. Basically, like, he already told her what he wasn't finna do. But I guess she felt some type of way because she want her son to go to school. But at the end of the day, it should have just been left offline. That's just how I feel. Jada even said something and here's what she had to say. So Jada said boss up point blank and then she also said y'all just hate me it's clear LL don't give a elf though it be y'all insecurities basically she I guess she's trying to tell the baby mama she need to boss up so she don't have to depend on a little baby or something like that you guys let me know what you think about this situation in the comment section also make sure you like share subscribe and hit the notification bell and thanks for watching